folks, I'm sure that many of you have stuff that's just gathering dust in your basement. Maybe your husband's telling you to get rid of it, dump it, something like that. But guess what? It could be worth something. So my next guests are pros at spotting treasures. Now, they're the stars of Ovation's new series, Art Breakers. Check it out. Now, this one over here is diamonds. Diamonds? On the left. <laughs> is that nice? Yeah. <laughs> I've never had diamonds. Are you water? Water. See? Do you want okay. to taste or you're sure. okay? He'll is have to taste. Is there a okay. special way to pour diamond water? I know. I've never done this before. Carefully, carefully. <laughs> carefully, I'm so scared. Yeah. The water has the four different elements in it. Vitality and optimism, imagination, and creativity. So this is to diamonds. This is to diamonds. <laughs> This water is made for me. A girl can never have too many diamonds. Please welcome Miller Gaffney and Carol Lee Brossa. Hi, ladies. How are you? How welcome are you? to the show. Thank you. Now, we got a, a couple of really nice people. Well, we have a few people here uh, who want to know if the items that they're holding are worth cash. First, we have uh, Jan and Tom. Jan and Tom, what do you have? Well, we brought a couple of items that have been passed down through the family. We're not here so much for the monetary value. To us, I, I would say it's more intrinsic. We're interested in the beauty and the uniqueness, but mostly the sentimentality. Oh, you don't and, care and, about and the, the first... money. <laughs> Could be. If it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the first item is a sword. My uncle was a high-ranking naval officer in occupied Japan after World War II. And he had the sword made by the largest and best manufacturer of swords for the Japanese military officers. Mm -hmm. And they weren't that busy at the time. And <clears throat> this <laughs> chess set uh, was my father's, who was an attorney, and he got it in lieu of a fee in the 1950s. We've always wondered whether it was ivory or whether it was bone. And in the 60s, we had a magazine that we kept that basically showed it as a museum piece, a similar type set but we have no idea what it is. Really? Ladies, so you, you've looked at these. Are, are, are these worth anything? We have. Well, the sword was manufactured by the Miyazima Company in Japan, which was actually very close to the US naval base. So as you mentioned, a lot of the US naval officers bought these swords and would have their names engraved on them. I think, I believe there's an engraving mm -hmm. of your uncle's yes. name on the side. So because they were pretty common, they're not that rare. If you were going to try to sell it at auction, you might expect to receive around $300, but it's a very important piece for yes. sentimental reasons Absolutely. to you and your family. Yeah, you. As for the chess set, the first thing we had to determine if it's ivory or if it's bone, mm -hmm. and determine that ivory is much denser than bone, and it has less brown spots. So if you look very closely at the piece, it should have parallel lines if it's ivory with a magnifying glass. The other way that we date this is we look at the concentric circles. And that's how we can tell it's from the 19th century, around 1850. Wow. So well, this good. is something that very wealthy people would have more of as a status symbol in their house. Mm -hmm. So no grandchildren playing with it. No, anymore. I would not do that. <laughs> and with the law. Get away from the chest set! <laughs> <laughs> With the laws now that are, they actually prohibit the sale of ivory. They're right. banning that. Right. I would keep this in your family, but the value is three thousand dollars. Oh, wonderful! Three thousand dollars. Thank you. Three hundred. Three thousand. Three thousand. Yes. Whoa! Get away from this chest set! I swear to God! I swear to God! <laughs> Get on away from him! Get on away from him! I love it. There you go. Hey, ladies, let's go. Let's check out our next item. Go here. You get close. I don't know nothing about it. Uh, our next item, which belongs to Eleanor. Eleanor, tell us about your artwork. Um, well, this painting has been in our family for at least three generations, maybe more. I don't really know anything about it. I wondered what the value of it was, and I tried to look it up. I think the artist from the signature, I think his name is Crisson, but I really wasn't able to find out much. I'm thinking maybe it might be worth about $500, or 
Maybe you have better news. I don't know. Uh oh. Well, I thought I thought time was trying to stab me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. I left y'all, but I'm sorry. I'm from the hood. I'm just... I didn't even have time to turn around. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, oh, who, who, where we at? Okay. So, Thank you, Eleanor. <laughs> okay, well, actually, from looking at the signature, it's not Creason, but it's Grison with a G. And his name is Francois Grison. He was born in Bordeaux, France in 1845. Wow. And this piece, you thought it was worth $500? Yeah. Well, it's actually worth $65,000. Oh, my God. Girl, we do we doing good on this show. Girl, we done came up $65,000. Man. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah. Start digging around in your attic. 65,000. <laughs> mhm. Mm People have this type of value in their possession and have no idea. Yes. Possible. Would you, would you keep it or sell it? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Insure it. <laughs> What? Definitely you don't know. <laughs> well, you ain't think it was 500. I'll give you 5,000 for it right now. <laughs> Soon as you give me five, I'm finna come up 60, 20 minutes later. I think that's great. Good luck, though. I think that's really... And ladies, absolutely fabulous. Great job, ladies. Thank you. Great job. Hey, listen, I want to say thanks to all my guests. Folks, Art Breakers airs Sunday nights at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on Ovation. Okay? We'll be right back.